everyone welcome to my channel today i wanted to show you my reading journal that i have been using for um let me think i guess the past year and a half um i bought this reading journal from a youtuber who came out with her own reading journal um her youtube channel is clockwork reader i've been following her for about two years on youtube and i really really enjoy her content and so when i saw a video that she was going to be creating her own reading journal i knew that i wanted to get my hands on it so i actually did pre-order this uh, like a long long time ago when it came out um and i was so excited when i got it and i am still to this day in love with it and it's pretty funny because i don't read a lot of books per year so because of that i've been able to continue to use this um even a year later because i just don't read that many books um but like i said i just absolutely love this it's so beautiful this beautiful beautiful green this is definitely like one of those greens that's in my favorite color um like in the same family as my favorite colors so very beautiful um but in this reading journal most of the prompts look like this, where you put your title, your author, narrator, the date you started and finished, your genre, and it'll ask you different questions along the way, and then it'll give you space where you can actually like, um, draw something that represents the book, and this is kind of her guideline. Um, let me see some things. It'll ask you like your favorite books, um, and in here, I only have two listed actually in there. Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness, My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Pico, and The Red Rising Saga by Pierce Brown. Definitely in my top books. Um, I just love those books so much. And it just has different stats that you can fill out. Um, it has a to be read reading list. So whenever I buy books, I'll literally just write them right here. Um, and on this next page, I've actually changed these. So I've put like books I've sold and that little free library exchange. So whatever books that I sell on pango i'll just put here and then books that i've exchanged with the little free libraries i'll kind of just write there more prompts for you to answer then if we go into the nitty-gritty of some of my book reviews um i really do love this thing because it is like very it makes you it makes you feel very like interactive and it kind of brings you deeper into the book that you've just finished um let's see i actually just recently finished Dear Edward, like a month ago, or maybe two months, oh shoot, time flies, bro, what is it, three months ago, goodness gracious, okay, anyways, um, Dear Edward by Anne, Nap yeah, I don't know, Napolitano, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good book, it was okay, to be completely honest with you, I like dark and depressing, so when I heard about a plane crash, I was expecting details, and I didn't get any, and that made me sad, <laughs> but that's just the dark, um, that's just the dark inside of me, but that's whatever. So one of the things is it'll ask you like, what's your favorite quote? And for this, I put that this was not a tragedy. Dying on your couch, watching TV by yourself is a tragedy. Dying while doing something you love with every part of your body is magic. I wish you magic, Edward. Oh, this quote spoke to me. I was like, oh my God, that is beautiful. And for the picture, I literally just drew like an envelope and it's saying Dear Edward because in the book, um, it's like a lot of different people are like sending him letters and of course addressing it as a Dear Edward. So I just thought that was so, so cool. Um, another thing, another book that I read after that was My Dark Vanessa. I also, I listened to this on the audiobook so to be completely honest, I didn't get the full effect of the book that I know I would have if I would have read this physically but this was still a really good book i rated it three and a half stars i haven't drawn anything for it <clears throat> i usually leave the drawings blank until like i'm in the mood to open this up and then i'll kind of go back to my old ones and just draw something in there but for this quote i said it's not as though he killed anyone he didn't even really hurt anyone though hurt is such a subjective thing think of all the thoughtless pain we inflict a mosquito on your arm you don't even hesitate to smack it dead yeah, so it was just like, this book had so many great quotes that I definitely kind of overlooked or didn't appreciate as effectively as I would have if I would have read it myself. I actually added another quote here. It says, to be groomed is to be loved and handled like a precious, delicate thing. Like, oh, of course, this book is about a child who falls in love with her teacher. And, you know, 
bad stuff occurs. Um, but literally all of this is just where you can write all your books down, give them your review, your ratings and your reviews. Um, I do want to touch on this section, which is definitely my favorite section. Um, but I'm very picky when it comes to books, so I don't have an immense collection of quotes. I think this is all I've got. It's just this one page. Yeah. I definitely take this really seriously when I'm filling this out, so I don't like to put anything down unless it truly moved me. Um, let's see, this one right here uh, is the one I read. Let me see. Oh, this one was good. This one was from It Ends With Us. It says, do we all repeat the same words in our heads in the days after experiencing abuse at the hands of those who love us? From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and health, until death do us part. Maybe those vows weren't meant to be taken as literally as some spouses take them. For better, for worse. Fuck that shit. <laughs> that was a glorious quote because the whole, you know, kind of main plot in this book is the fact that our main character falls in love with a man who turns out to be um, physically abusive. And so she's kind of thinking this in her head of like, what the fuck am I doing here? I cannot, you know, allow myself to go deeper into this relationship. I thought that quote was amazing. And this is another, another quote from my dark Vanessa that I also loved. Girls in those stories are always victims and I am not. And it doesn't have anything to do with what Strain did or didn't do to me when I was younger. I'm not a victim because I never wanted and if I didn't want to be, then I'm not. That's how it works. The difference between rape and sex is state of mind. You can't rape the willing, right? <laughs> that was like, oof. Girl. <laughs> that was kind of tough to read. I was like, damn, queen. Actually, <laughs> so that was quite depressing, but still a beautiful book. There's a most anticipated books. Actually, I've actually never reread a book, so I don't even know if I will ever fill this out. <laughs> Favorite childhood books. I only put one down because only one truly like was a favorite, and I wasn't a huge reader back in the day. So I just wrote down the selection series. I read this in middle school. It really, it really was like a amazing book series. I still own them to this day. They, uh, they hold a lot of sentimental value for me, so I still have them. Ooh, this, this is a really cool section. It's music for reading. You can put down like music playlists that relate to a book that you're currently reading. And I've only put down one because I've only actually done this for one book. Um, when I was reading Song of Achilles, listening to the Spotify playlist of, um, it was called Dedicated to Achilles and Patroclus. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. And I would just listen to this at night after I like read some chapters. It was so good. Um, but that's kind of completes my journal. And obviously I have a quite a bit of reviews and different quotes within this, but I kind of just wanted to touch on the main ideas of what I have in my um, book journal. And just to show you guys what I am working with. And I would definitely recommend this. Hannah did an amazing job creating this. I mean, just everything is so pretty. I heard that she has a new journal out as for um, movies and TV shows, I think. So that's honestly really, really cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.